Welcome back to FM Story. In the first episode of our beta save with Man United, got off to a brilliant start. Four from four in the league. Top of the, well, joint top of the table, only behind Liverpool on alphabetical order. And perhaps more amazingly, we managed to get Harry Maguire's wages off the book. In this episode, we've got obviously the Champions League starting and we've got a fairly decent group in, as far as that's concerned. And then as far as the league's concerned, we've got some big games coming up. We've got Brighton, we've got Newcastle, we've got Man City, we've got Chelsea. Um, so hopefully we can continue on the great run we started with and, and put together a challenge for the title. So without further ado, let's get into the action. So we've made it to the end of October and we have really just continued on from where we left off at the end of the last episode. We are absolutely flying in the league. As you can see from the table, we've played nine, we've won all nine with 27 points. Um, things are going great. Obviously, as you can see, looking at the fixtures, we've got Man City coming up the league, Arsenal in the Carabao Cup and Chelsea. Coming up in the league, so we are going to hit. We are just about to hit a, a bit of a tricky run of games, but but we ended the last episode after the Aston Villa game, and things have um, just really gone on quite well since then. First game we were home to Brentford. Um, we were four 0 up at half time. Really comfortable performance. Uh, Rashford and Garnacho amongst the goals again. Sevilla in the first Champions League game. We struggled. Um, they went ahead. We levelled it up, and then we went ahead and they levelled it up pretty much straight away. And then we just overpowered them in the end. Three late goals to come over with a five-two win. The game against Brighton was the first game that we really struggled with. Um, and despite us getting the early goal, despite us being two-one half time, they were a, a constant threat. Um, luckily, they. The second goal was a, not more than really a consolation goal um, after we'd gone three one up, um, but yeah, it was a it was a bit of a difficult game. The Sheffield United game in the Carabao Cup, we basically started apart from Lisandro Martinez, we started a completely different team to what had played at the league previously. In the end, it was a, a nice, comfortable victory. Everton at home. We weren't great. They weren't too much of a threat though. Um, and in the end we came away with a 2 victory. The Braga game, it really it was a bit like the Sevilla game. We didn't start well. Um, they were 1-0 up. We left it very, very late. Martial got in the 82nd minute. Dallo headed home after the keeper had saved a Fernandez free kick. In the 90th minute, McTominay scored in the 93rd minute. They scored in the 95th minute. Lots of lit drama because also after he came on as a sub, um, because he'd had a, a knock, Bruno Fernandez missed the penalty. So um, it was had everything in the last 20 minutes of that game, um, but we did come away with a 3-2 three, three, victory. Newcastle, very much like the like some of the other games, we were really poor. Early on, they took the lead with it, a lovely goal from Charlie. And then it was just somehow in the last couple of minutes, we managed to put something together. Hoyland and Tommy with goals. Um, we did get better um, once the substitutes came on um, in the second half. Uh, Rashford didn't start, picked up a knock in the Braga game. He came off the bench and, and was okay. Martial was a real threat. When he came on, we were then at home to Wolves and went behind. And again, didn't start the game well. They scored after five minutes. We got a goal back just before half time. We wasted a lot of chances in the first half as well. Um, but in the end, the, we, we eventually started taking the chances in the second half and came away with a, a 5 1 victory. And then, the most recent game. A home to Lons in the Champions League. Um, we weren't massive 
we weren't really impressive, but we did well enough. Um, it wasn't really a threat from, from them. Garnacho got a goal in the first half after we'd had a, a couple of goals disallowed um, for offside, um, both from corners with the, the man in front of the goalkeeper. Uh, and then in the second half, brilliant goal on the counter-attack from a set piece. Garnacho ran 50, 60 yards with the ball before he slotted it past the keeper. And as we said, you can see we've got this run of form. There's a run of games coming up. Man City, Arsenal, Chelsea, although obviously the Arsenal's Carabao Cup before hopefully a bit of an easier run towards the end of, of November. As far as the league's concerned, obviously, as we said, nine from nine. Marks rush got nine goals. Outstanding average rating well in front in terms of that. He's five player of the matches in nine games. Luke Shaw and Mark Rush are both there in terms of assists as well. Um, and we've kept five clean sheets in the in the opening nine games. Things are, are looking pretty good, but obviously this is we we've played Tottenham, we've played Newcastle, we've beaten them both. But I think this next game away at Man City is our our biggest test so far as far as the league's concerned to see if this formation works this uh these this personnel works as well. And obviously as far as the Champions League is concerned, played three, won three, nine points. Without being particularly impressive in any of the games. Um so hopefully we can we can secure our place in the the next round as quickly as possible and then focus on the, the league games we've got over the winter month. So we're going in with the same team that's played in the last couple of games, which is dominating that defensive midfield role instead of Amrabat. Amrabat came back in the last national break with a, a bit of a knock, and McDominay has been outstanding. We've actually played him. Garnacho and Rashford have been on fire um, so far this season. Hopefully they can continue with that. Um, it looks as though they're playing a black four of Stones, Diaz, Kanji, and Aki, so I presume Stones is going to. An inverted wing back with Ake's inverted fullback. Um, and obviously, we've got to somehow deal with Erling Haaland. Uh, the board is expecting us to lose the game, the supporters are expecting us to draw. To be honest, I would be I would snatch myself now for a draw, I think, just to make sure we stay unbeaten. Not much happening early on. We've had a lot of the ball, though. 70 odd percent possession. Most of the formation kind of Anthony are now they've got on the ball a lot more as the half's gone on, but still not much happening. We've taken a short goal kick here to Martinez, Tomine back to Nana, Martinez to Shaw. Last thing we want to do is give the ball away here. Baran. This is dangerous. The longer this goes on, the more it's like we're going to cock it up here. Casemiro to show space to run into now. Into Fernandez over the top for Rashford. Oh! What a goal. With the way that highlight was developing, all that passing around at the back, we've already had one instance this season where we passed it straight to a centre forward. I was expecting us just to pass the ball straight to Ireland. In the end, we break the press, shore into Fernandez over the top of Rashford, and he smashes it past Edison. And that's us 1 0 in front. Ruben Diaz for free kick. Rodri into Kevin De Bruyne. Into Foden. Bernardo Silva into Matez Nunes. And Onana must have saved that. He's going to be out for the corner. Bruyne with the corner. Short, Gordon, and Blackie behind for another corner on the other side this time. Bernardo Silva to take this one. Out to the edge of the box to Nunes again. Pulls it down, but he went. 
the player closing it down went block the pass back rather than shot. Overall, not much happened in that first half. Basically, those two highlights of the goals um, got in 1 1. Take it and just look to make sure we don't do anything stupid in the second half. All right, we've sent the same team out to start the second half. Go with the corner. We've gone short. Here's the box and they're breaking. Rashford wins the back. One Saka into Luke Shaw. Fernandez is through. Hoyland. I mean, the way Fernandez stopped, I thought we were getting a penalty there, but it just, just falls to Hoyland. Rashford into one back, infield to Shaw, lifts it over the top, takes it down the chest. Kanji got a touch to it, but pushed it into the path of Hoyland, and that's us back in front. Well, I mean, Hoyland was offside when the ball was played three, but it's not exactly the same phase of play, is it? Free kick on the edge of the box for them. De Bruyne take by the look of it. Based on previous FM, we'll be going straight in the top corner. Of all the things I was expecting, I wasn't expecting him to rule it short there. I suppose he was well on mark. I mean, we've done nothing in the second half, but as I said before the game, if you give me a draw before the game, I think I've probably snapped a hand off of that. We're still unbeaten, we're still top of the table. And actual fact, we probably should have won the game. Um, we managed to keep Erling Haaland quiet, take that, and move on, and hope we can keep this run going. So it's time for the Saturday evening kickoff against Chelsea. Um, obviously, you can see these are the games played earlier on in the day. We have dropped down third. Man City have played two games more than us. Look, look at the one game more than us at the moment. And we've got the game against Chelsea. We did obviously play that game against Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. Um, and it was a fairly even game. We were okay in the first half, they were better in the second half. We did start the game with a lot of our more attacking players rested to give them a rest, with it being the Carabao Cup. They, Arsenal did a very good one as well. Um, they did get a goal back in the night through Eddie and Ketia. And then we got a winner in the ninth second minute. A cross from Rashford was out and it went back to him. He looped the cross over. Ramsdale came for it, got nowhere near it. Anthony Martial looped the header over Ramsdale and then Kiwior going back towards his own goal bulleted the, head into the header into the top corner which has seen us uh, through to the, the Carabao Cup quarterfinal where we're going to be playing against Bournemouth so going into the game against Chelsea we've gone back to the same team that has been starting games recently we brought back Garnacho, Fernandes, Rashford, Hoyland coming back in as well We had rested Lisandro Martinez for that Carabao Cup game. Also, he's back in and against the Chelsea team. That a bit like real life. You don't know what to expect from them. Hopefully, we can get at Thiago Silva. Uh, but let's have a look at what we do. Go to Martinez, into McTominay, Rafa Baran, one Saka McTominay into Garnacho. Thiago Silva came out of position there by the looks of it and Garnacho just smashed it over the bar. Not an awful lot happening other than that first highlight. Now they've got a free kick deep in their own half. Thiago Silva, who are past Fernandes into Hoyland and surely we could have made more of that chance. We've gone backwards. Dominate back to Varane. We've gone from how, nicking the ball back on the edge of their area to inside our own half. Tomine to Garnacho. And he's given the ball away. 
and what a waste that was. And now they're going to presume to and attack us. Wecky, Rashford's nicked the back of Casado. Past the defender. I mean, based on how this game started so far, if we don't take advantage of their, their bad defending, uh, we were going to struggle. But a couple of times they given the ball away there in, in the same highlight. Rashford goes past the defender with ease and then fires it past the keeper on his left foot. And they've got to throw deep now a half this time. Chilwell gives it away to Tomine. Garnacho runs into Caicedo. Thiago Silva goes back. Keeper, Isido, back to Chalabar, Reece James, infield to Caicedo. Looks as though they're, they're pushing Chilwell forward in the inverted wing back. Reece James inside to make it a three in defence. I see it into end of Fernandez, Nicholas Jackson in behind us. And that was far too easy for them. And no way that's offside. Oh, it was. That must have looked very different then. I see it in and did go just slightly. We got away with one there. Chalabar at the back of them into Conor Gallagher. He turns and runs at our defence. And luckily that was straight at Onana. But that was far too easy for him to get into there. By and large, we've got to be happy with that. We're William winning 1 0. We just need to, we should have taken more advantage of the mistakes they've made. And they've had a couple of chances now where they've got in far, far too easy. But not too bad, but we can be better. Right, they've made a change at half time. Brought Roger on, and now Rashford's gone off injured after a minute of the second half. And Marshall on the left side, he's done pretty well when he's come on in recent game. Fernandez to the back post, and that should have been 2 0 up the clear header. Pretty wide. Juan Bissak with a throw, Bruno Fernandez back to Rafa Moran. Field to Martinez, Shaw with space to move into on the left side. Back to Casemiro, Tomine. Tomine over the top to Garnacho. It's his ninth goal of the season already. What a finish. And that makes things a bit more comfortable in this game. McTominay went back to Iran, into McTominay, takes a touch, just dinks the ball over the top of Chilwell, and the keeper didn't even move really. All right, Reggie wants to take a corner. In swinger, Rafa Varane at the near post. His fourth goal of the season, all of them I think headers from corners. And that's just 3 0 up. That's got to be game over now. In the end, that turned into a pretty dominant performance. They had a couple of chances towards the end of the, the disallowed goal and then another chance for Gallagher where they got in behind it far too easily. But other than that, I don't think they really had another chance. Come away with a 3-0 victory. Uh, Scott McCombie was outstanding. Considering he started the season at transfer list and we were considering whether to let him go or not. The obviously the main concern now is what is that injury to Mark Rashford? Because I don't know that we can, don't think we can afford to be without him for a extended period. But overall, brilliant result. Puts us back to the top of the table. And let's just hope we can keep this run going. We finally lost our first games this season. However, we still haven't lost a, a domestic game. It's the uh, Champions League where things have gone a bit belly up. Um, the Max Rashford injury that he picked up in that Chelsea game has proven to be a bit of a, a bit of a problem. He was out for four to five weeks. We're hoping he's going to be back for the Liverpool game in the middle of um, December. 
but we have struggled. Um, although we've still won all the league games since then, we've struggled in some of those, and we've really struggled in the Champions League. The first game after the Chelsea game was a trip to Lons in the Champions League, and we got off to a great start. We were 1-0 up after less than a quarter of an hour, and then just didn't form for the rest of the game. They came away with a 3-1 victory. We went away to Bournemouth and had so many chances, but just could not take. And in the end, luckily, Anthony Marshall popped up in the last minute to grab the winner. Things were a lot better in the home game against Burnley. 3 0 comfortable performance. Rafa Bram the header. Hoyland and Fernandez adding goals late on in the first half to send us in at half time 3 0 up. And we came away with a comfortable 3 0 victory. And then in the most recent game, we went away to Sevilla in the Champions League. And we were okay in the first half. We took the lead um, through Bruno Fernandez after a, a short corner that had been worked into the box that he carried home. They equalised with a header from a free kick where Onana was coming for the ball but was going to get nowhere near it. I mean, he was still 10 yards from the ball when the when the header was made, but he was outside the the posts, so it, the ball just trickled into an empty net. They then had Marcus Acuna sent off for a two-footed lunge on Garnacho, and then somehow Ivan Rakitic popped up deep into injury time to give them a 2-1 victory. Now, it puts us in a bit of trouble in the Champions League. We've got one game left in the group against Braga. We are currently in second place. Um, one point behind Sevilla. We're level on points with Lons. We've got Braga left to play at home. So given how they've played in this competition so far, got to hope that we can we can pick up the victory against Braga, but anything less than a victory. And we're at the the mercy of, of hoping Sevilla can do something against Lons. As far as the Premier League is concerned, we are still top of the table. One of only two unbeaten teams left in the league this season, the other one being Man City. Um, we are three points clear of Liverpool. We're five points clear of Man City, who have played a game extra. And despite the fact that they haven't lost a game, have, have drawn five already. And then we're 11 points clear of, of Arsenal. So we've had a great start to the league season. Marcus Rashford still second top scorer with 11 goals. Obviously, he's missed the last couple of games. Hopefully, he's back at the Liverpool game in the middle of December. And there we have it. The end of episode two of the Beat to Save. Currently, things are going pretty well. Obviously, things have taken a bit of a tumble in that most recent run of Champions League games. But top of the table, we haven't lost the game in the league yet. We're still in a position to qualify in the Champions League. And obviously, we've managed to get rid of Harry Wise wages. Interestingly, since they took him on loan, taking all his wages and the mandatory future fee, he hasn't actually even started a game for them since they signed him. And we're now, what, just about four months, three months into the season, four, three, four months into the season. Um, so definitely a, a good decision to get rid of. And things are going well. We just need to keep it going. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.